The beauty who took on a beast, and it was not pretty. Miss California never became Miss USA. But man, oh man, she did seem to make her mark, didn't she? And today, she made it here. Vermont recently became the fourth state to legalize same-sex marriage. Do you think every state should follow suit? Why or why not? Well, I think it's great that Americans are able to choose one or the other. Um, we live in a land that you can choose same-sex marriage or opposite marriage. And you know what? In my country and in, in, in my family, I think that I believe that a marriage should be between a man and a woman. No offense to anybody out there, but that's how I was raised, and that's how I think that it should be between a man and a woman. Thank you. Did she lose it right there? Carrie Bajan came in second in this weekend's Miss USA pageant. Does she think that answer cost her the crown? Do you? I do. I do. You knew when he was going to ask Perez Hilton, a gay rights advocate, what, what, did you think that would be a question like that would come from him? I didn't think a question that controversial would be asked at Miss USA. I think any of the top five girls that were up there that were asked that question had a choice to go this way or this way. And, and I think that I was the one that was blessed enough to get this question. I, I am so blessed that I was able to, to speak my, my mind, my thoughts, my convictions in front of millions of people. And, and it's been such a blessing in disguise, this whole process. So thank you, Perez. <laughs> now, you said you're not against gays. No, this has absolutely nothing to Explain do with Explain what is your position. My position is that I believe a marriage is between a man and a woman. And the way that Perez asked me the question that night, of course, I was extremely nervous. I was up there at Miss USA, if you can imagine, being called into the top ten, top five, you know, having to answer your question. You're nervous. And you see Donald Trump sitting in the front row, your family, your friends, millions of people are watching. And um, Did you know after your answer, I just lost this? As he was asking me the question, I just had a smile on my face. And as soon as I began to talk, I, I said in my head, God... This is where you need to show up. Show up right here. And that's where I just said, you know what? Go for it. Okay. Speak your mind, speak your thoughts, and don't be ashamed. All right, because Perez spoke his mind after the fact. I'm sure you saw this. This is Perez Hilton the next day. Now, let me explain to you. She lost not because she doesn't believe in gay marriage. Miss California lost because she's a dumb Man. What did you think of that? I mean, all I can say is that I feel sorry for him. I, I really do. I feel sorry for him. As you can see in that video, he's obviously angry. There, I think there is a, a, a... He said a lot worse than that, you know. I know, and I've heard that he's, he's called me, you know, a bunch of different names. But, you know, Perez, I, I pray for you. And I, I feel sorry for you. And if you're watching right now, I love you regardless. As Christians, we're called to love you everybody. Really? I do. Just because you love someone doesn't mean you agree with them. Doesn't mean that, you know. And you're not taking anything away from Miss North Carolina who won. No, in fact, I would like to say, Miss North Carolina, Kristen Dalton, I wish you the best of luck as Miss USA. I know you're going to do a fantastic job. And um, I was so honored to be standing with you at the very end when our hands were together and, um, what do you You're guys say? Great. Do we have that? I always wonder, what do you guys say to each other? It's one or the other who's going to win, right? right? I do you, cannot do believe... you whisper in her ear like, cool? Well, you know, I was standing there and I could not believe that I had made it that far. With a controversial question like that and the way that I had answered it, immediately after I answered question... How do you think question, she would have answered it? I would love to know. I would love to know. But there, by I the luck told... of the draw, it was your question, your answer. I would hope that she would stay true to herself, stay true to her convictions. And if she is a well, she got a financial question, which, by the way, is why she's on this show Thursday, because we are abreast of these business stories. Um, she had a banking question. Right. And awesome. Arizona had a question about universal health care, and she decided not so to So there's a lot the more in these interviews than there used to be. Right. But, I mean, it's a, it's a tough, it's a hot topic right now. I mean, gay marriage is a huge topic, especially in California. Um, would I have answered it differently? I mean, maybe I would have explained a little bit more of what I mean to not sound so hurtful. But what I said is, is the way I feel, and it's, it's, it's my belief. And I'm entitled to my own opinion, just as he is. 
Are you worried about um, the future, though, for you? Uh, I don't know what your aspirations are, but I guess this has given you a great deal of notoriety, and I know you have your core values and principles, but in this day and age, these kind of views, we're told, are not politically correct. These are not the modern right. views. Right, and that's something that I really need to think about. You know, am I trying to be politically correct, or do I want to be biblically correct? And I think that I want to be biblically correct. I Did want you to think that through? You think, let me see, what's the answer that I could give that would maybe be better? All I could think about when I was standing there answering that question was, Carrie, what are your beliefs? Do you believe that California, and we had overturned Proposition 8? Sure. Okay, that had already gone on in the state of California. I wasn't concerned about any other state but my state of California. Fairly liberal state that surprised a exactly. lot of people. Exactly. Majority of people in my state had agreed with me. They believe a marriage should be between a man and a woman. And I was marked down because of my opinion. And I don't think that that's right. Do you and think it's right? Well, what's happened since is now people are saying... You're against gay rights, which you're against just... No, not at all. You know, my sister, I, something has been definitely misconstru misconstrued through the whole thing. Um, someone saying my sister is a you know, gay activist and stuff like that. But, you know, everybody has their own opinion. My sister actually supports gay marriage. My right. own sister. Uh, her and I, she and I have t uh, discussions all the time about it. And, and it's just a matter of opinion. So you don't wish that you had gotten the banking question that Miss North Carolina did and just... Hunted that one to her. About the taxpayers. Right. You know, I, I think that she answered it, it well. I mean, I don't agree with, with some of the things that she said, but, you know, the, everybody applauded for Could her. Could I ask you that question? What do you think of the bailouts? <laughs> I don't think that taxpayers' money should be used for bailing out companies. I don't. Um, do I agree that they should be used for welfare? No, I don't. Interesting. Um, for you now, and uh, beauty pageants in general, they're, they're asking these questions. They're being, you not only have to be beautiful, you have to be really fast on your feet. You know, it's right. a lot more challenging these days. Um, is that a good or a bad thing when it can land you in political controversy? <laughs> well, I never thought that by being first runner up, I would be <laughs> here right now. So obviously it happened for a reason. Um, it was a test of my faith, test of my character, test of my integrity. And I am blessed to be here right now. Uh, what about Mr. Trump? Has he gotten back to you? Um, I actually scheduled to meet with him tomorrow. Are you really? Yes. I'm Where? wondering what he would want to say to me. Where? I'm going to at his the... office in New York City. Beautiful office. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. I know. I'm excited. What do you want to be? You know, I'm not sure. I, I'm continuing my modeling career. I'm, I'm not sure how far that's going to lead me. Um, maybe get into politics. Really? Never know. You don't want to, uh, like, half of them want to get into TV news. Are you in No, I, I don't think I want to get into that. Definitely That's not. Good. Maybe motivation. Breathing a sigh of relief speaking. there. Okay, good. Yeah. Because um, I really don't need the competition. <laughs> I just want to avoid I know. That. Um, but, uh, Carrie, very good having you. Best of luck in the Thank future. Thank you very much. I appreciate you having me on the show. Very nice having you. Uh, and Perez Hilton, love to have him on, right? Perez, anytime, anytime. Sure. You know, maybe together. I heard he wanted to have lunch with me. <laughs> Did he really? I guess so. Really? And then decided to call me a dumb bee after that. So yeah, well, it is what it is. I love you no matter what. Yeah, group hug. <laughs> All right, when we 